What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I've got a fun one for you today. We're going to be modeling this warped staircase. So uh, it will be a functioning staircase modeled with a stair tool. It's not going to be an in-place family, don't worry. But it will be warped and cool and weird and, and it's just going to look amazing. But before we get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this uh, cool warped uh, staircase that I modeled here, uh, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. You can download all of my Revit project files for only $5 a month. I've got over 160 uh, Revit files up there so far. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's get started with the tutorial. And uh, this is going to be my starting point. As you can see, this is the staircase that I modeled uh, in one of my earlier tutorials. It's a concrete, uh, concrete railing uh, staircase. And if you want to check this out, first link in the description, uh, it shows you the necessary setup uh, that you need to begin uh, modeling this warped staircase because I just like to have this, uh, I guess you would say this uh, railing on the side. Uh, because on a warped staircase, uh, regular railing usually just looks ugly and boring. But anyway, so this is what we're going to be using. So I'm just going to delete this because I don't need it. And I'm just going to go to South Elevation and because here I set this up to 12 meters, I'm going to drop it down back to 4 meters. It will be a smaller staircase. And yeah, so we've got that. And now let's start, uh, let's start modeling. So just go to level one and here you're going to start the stair tool and just choose that uh, monolithic stair uh, type. And here, uh, before we do anything, you need to see this desired number of steps. And it says 23 right now, as you can see over here. And that's the number you need to memorize. So memorize that and then from here from run, as you can see, this is just selected now to straight, go to create sketch. And, and now you can create your custom, uh, your custom stair, but as you can see over here, all of this is faded. So you need to remember that number of risers, uh, 23, because that's the number of lines we're going to be placing to get our uh, stair. But first let's do the boundaries. So I'm just going to use the arc tool for that and go maybe like, I don't know, like this. Then do another one over here, kind of like that, make it look kind of weird a bit. Then do something like this and here maybe do something like that. Is this too close? Yeah, probably. Let me measure this distance. 0.8. Well, I guess it can work. Who cares? It looks cool and it doesn't have to be functional. I, I never said it's going to be a functional staircase. Maybe move this in a bit. Maybe like that. I don't know. Maybe like this. Yeah. Yeah, I like this shape now. Okay, so this is what you start off. And as you can see over here, uh, it says uh, zero risers created, 23 remaining. So uh, it says here 23, but uh, so that that's the number we need to uh, create so go to here to risers and then uh, go to arc tool or you can use the the straight line I'm just going to use the arc for this one. So you just go kind of like this uh, Create the first one and I guess the arc is going to give it a bit more uh, Coolness you want to have as much as possible for this staircase so let's go like that and uh, Whenever you're working with warped forms like this uh, it's going to be hard to, to measure like how many of these you need. So I suggest you kind of eyeball it and, and then once you've uh, done placing them, you kind of count them and see if you have to add more or do you need to make the, this a bit denser. So let's go like this. Let's do a few more. One here, one here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have too many. Let's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, I, I think this will work. Uh, so just go uh, like this. This is then. Oops, not boundary. Make sure you're on area. So don't mess that up. Don't click accidentally on boundary. So risers. So this is eighteen. This is nineteen this 20 
and let's do three more. So one here, one here, kind of like that, and one to finish it all off. So you kind of finish it like that. Maybe we can give it a bigger arc. Yeah, I think this looks this looks quite all right. And now let's just finish this. And it's give, going to give you some warnings, so cancel out of that. So what's the problem here? Well, uh, we modeled our stair, uh, but uh, Revit can't really figure out how the stair works because we didn't create a stair path. So just go here to stair path and again go with an arc. So you start from here and then you go for, to maybe here, kind of like that, and from here to the end point. Let's see. Yeah, that works. So just hit finish. Uh, cancel out of that. Okay, it doesn't work for some reason. Uh, let's see, maybe if we extend this like that. Okay, should work better now. Okay, sometimes it's going to have some problems. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we've got all of our risers in place. Maybe this is too dense. Let's see if we change that, hit finish. Cancel a lot of that. Yeah, you're going to be kind of playing around, uh, just resetting everything just to make sure if something doesn't work, maybe delete this one. So just see some if something is maybe too warped, uh, uh, you need to try to fix that maybe, and then uh, you get the, the final shape. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So maybe it was that step was the problem. So now if I go into 3D, this is what we get. So just hit finish. And uh, once we hit finish, uh, we're going to get some uh, ugly railings. But let's let's let Revit uh, figure this shape out. As you can see, it's taking a, a bit of time. It's a complicated stair. But as you can see, it uh, uh, adds this railing. But I'm just going to delete that because it's ugly and unnecessary. And there you go. So this is our warped stair. And uh, just to kind of uh, finish it off, uh, let's change the material. Uh, this uh, concrete material doesn't really work for me for this design. So just go to edit type. And uh, here, let's see. So we can go to our, uh, where is it? Run type. Yeah, stringer. Okay. And you just go here and you change this to some I'm going to change it to some white material. So let's type, just type in white. Okay, drop some wallboard and hit apply. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is now white. Let's do the stairs white. So just go edit stairs and you st select the staircase. You go edit type and here, yeah, the tread material and the riser material. Just go with that. Control C, Control V. And uh, let's see if we hit apply and hit finish. Yeah, there we go. And to finish it off, let's add some floors so we can see that this is connecting something actually. So let's go to level one and this is what it will look like. So even though it's uh, it's a weird stair, it's actually going to represent it in a way Revit represents staircases and that's the important part. That's why you don't model this in place. That's why you create it using the stair tool. I'm just going to delete this line. I don't like it. Uh, but yeah, let's add some floors. So maybe just do a rectangle like this. Add this arc and then maybe trim. Can we trim this? Okay, yeah, it, it doesn't work that way, so let's uh, just bring this together. Perhaps like that. And let's try trimming it now. Trim and extend. Trim this to this. Oops, I knew I was going to make that mistake. Let's try now. Okay. We need to bring this up a bit, trim and extend, come on, this is taking way too much time. Okay, this looks all right. So we've got this floor here, uh, now let's go into level two and uh, let's go the, with the top floor, so just floor, something like that. And here if we just use pick lines, just trim and extend, trim and extend. 
and kind of connect it like that. Okay, so we just hit finish and go into 3D and this is what we get. So there's our warped stair design in Revit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. If you want to download the staircase, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. And if you have and yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you tomorrow.